Hi, this is Alan with the ESRI Developer Network. What I wanted to do today was take a look at a brand new product called Mapit. So to learn more about this product and what developers can do with it, let's go talk to some of the product engineers downstairs. Let's go see who we can find. Okay, hi guys, how you doing? Hey Al. Hey, how's it going Al? Good, good. Hey listen, I've been hearing uh, a lot about this new product called Mapit. So I wanted to stop by and from a developer's perspective, get your take on this product and what it's all about. Excellent. Glad you stopped by. The Mapit product itself is a software for some online services um, product. It's a mapping product that enables you to integrate your enterprise data onto a map. It's, it's really that simple. Right. So the um, Mapit itself contains a set of features. It's designed to follow a, a prepare, serve, and use workflow. And so we, we include a set of features that follow that workflow. Uh, the prepare part of that workflow includes a spatial data assistant. The Spatial Data Assistant is a WPF application that allows you to or enables you to prepare your spatial data in SQL Server. Uh, it allows you to geocode locations as well as upload uh, standard geographies that ESRI provides as well as any shapefile data that you have currently storing your geographic data. Uh, the use portion of that workflow <clears throat> consists of a spatial data service that we provide for you uh, that connects directly to your SQL Server instance, allows you to consume your spatial data within SQL Server from a variety of clients. Uh, we include two premier clients, and this is the uh, use portion of the workflow. Uh, those clients are the ArcGIS API for Microsoft Serverlite WPF uh, and the ESRI Map web part for uh, Microsoft SharePoint. Now, the uh, ArcGIS API for Microsoft Serverlite WPF is the developer component uh, that enables you to work within Visual Studio to develop Serverlite or WPF uh, client applications to consume your spatial data within SQL Server via the spatial data service. Uh, the uh, the ESRI Map web part for Microsoft SharePoint uh, enables you, it's an out-of-the-box solution. Uh, it's not a developer component, but what it does allow you to do is deploy a web part and configure that web part at runtime uh, in SharePoint so that you right. can consume SharePoint data, SharePoint lists uh, that are geo-enabled, uh, map it data, uh, tables, essentially be the, the spatial data service, uh, <coughs> and uh, an ArcGIS server uh, map service layers. Right on. Uh, right. We're kind of excited about this. It really simplifies the, the the way of getting enterprise or business data onto a map to visually see things. You know, that's, that's kind of exciting. Very simple way to do all the above. Now, because we've included the ArcGIS API for Microsoft Silverlight and WPF, mm -hmm. we not only get the benefits of using the spatial data service in uh, Mapit, but you can now leverage services in the cloud, such as Bing services or AKA <coughs> virtual Earth services. Um, ArcGIS Online services, which we all know is powered by ArcGIS Server, including the leveraging of ArcGIS Server within the Silverlight client. Okay. Well, maybe we should take a look at uh, some applications just to get a visual. Let's go and see. Yeah, let's uh, come over here and take, check it out. I have a couple of apps uh, up here and running, as you can see. And they're running in a browser, so they're Silverlight-based applications. And so this one right here is uh, a crime incident reporting application. It's based out there in Lincoln, Nebraska, and it's hitting the spatial data service uh, so that I can visualize all the crime incidents uh, for a given uh, police team. Now, in this case, I'm looking at uh, about 5,000 points being served up for the Northwest team. Um, and if I switch over to the Southeast team, you can see that again, uh, how many am I actually seeing here? Yeah, I'm getting another 5,000 set of points just as soon as I click it. So performance right. is great here. So 5,000 points coming from, in this case, what type of database? A SQL Server 2008 database. The table itself has a spatial type, a SQL Server spatial type known as geometry. Right. And of course, um, it lets me work with it inside of a browser. I'm just using standard Silverlight technology, and you see here I'm just using the clustering um, feature layer of Silverlight to display all 5,000 points. And you can see how quick that, that is. So it's just, you know, switching it out is, is fairly easy and quick. Now I went to a different area. So there's 5,000 points again. That's great. I have another application here. Now this one's actually being uh, hosted from our uh, Mapit website at esri.com slash Mapit. And of course, this is the demographic information. Now this leverages services again from our premium demographic services that are, that are now live on ArcGIS Online. Right. Um, as you can see here, I have some stores. I can select, uh, let's go ahead and pick the Redland store. 
and zooms me right to that area. I can select a, a, a way to generate trade areas, whether it be simple rings or drive times. Let's go with simple rings here. A distance is one, two, and three miles. And of course, let's go with a housing profile. I'll go ahead and calculate the trade area for that store. And you'll see that it goes out, queries um, ArcGIS online, generates a trade area for the simple rings, and of course, provides me a report. And of course, you got the old, you know, select the base map, generate a report, and you'll see the housing profile report. Um, all this is available through ArcGIS Online and through MapIt. Um, and last, let me just bounce in here and I'll show you the, uh, the web part. Now, what we're looking at here is uh, our SharePoint site. This right. is a, a demo page that we built inside of SharePoint. Uh, if I go in here, what you're seeing right now is a runtime view. You can see I have a number of uh, layers exposed. I can bounce back and forth between them. Map tips, all that's so just exposed to the to the application. And this is in SharePoint, right? This is the page. all inside of SharePoint. Uh, that's in runtime, but again, because I can modify the web part, um, we're going to have to log in here. I'll let Rex log in since that's his machine. You mean you don't know Rex's password? <laughs> Not yet. I used to. Okay. <laughs> right. Then he changed it on me. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta stay ahead of the game here. And so what you see here is quickly it changed up and um, it put me in design mode. Now because it's Silverlight, uh, and it's uh, sh SharePoint, I see the obvious SharePoint uh, design parts here, but I also see an extra set of uh, things here. This is the mapping components. This is the mapping components. Now I can actually work with ArcGIS Online or Bing Maps. In this case, I'm working with Bing Maps. I can go in and I can configure the different um, layers, um, including how I want the pop-ups to display, the symbology to use. In this case, it's a point layer, so I can pick from a number of different points. Now all these point symbols are configurable. Um, I can go back out, I can add additional data, and I can type in any data source I want, whether it be a spatial data service, an ArcGIS server service, or another SharePoint site. Right. And as you can see, it'll just load up all the information onto the map. I click OK, and uh, it'll leave it exactly the way I left it and display it in the map. Right. So if you're a SharePoint developer, this is really pretty easy to get up and going with right away. Yeah. So again, all this is uh, really Silverlight. <clears throat> um, it leverages SQL Server. It works inside of SharePoint. It allows you to integrate your existing enterprise data into a uh, map and allow you to explore it in visual ways that you've never had before. I guess the key there, you mentioned SharePoint developer. Not necessarily, right? So you don't need to be a SharePoint developer here per se. Uh, this is easy enough to deploy as a, as a SharePoint solution. Um, and you can deploy this and use it within your SharePoint application without having any developer skill. Right? So oh, that's awesome. Right. So this is all configurable at runtime via the user interfaces that we saw uh, without uh, a developer backend. So Great. Well, guys, that's awesome. Listen, I really appreciate uh, taking this time today to go over you know, this brand new product. It's very exciting, I think, uh, for the developer community. I want to thank you guys. And if anybody has uh, any other questions, be sure to hit the new resource center that's out there at resources.esri.com slash map it. So there you go. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.